Hello, it's Jimmy here at and I'm looking at a Ford S-Max 2 liter Euro 6 here. So I've already been having a look through it, I've deleted the code unfortunately to show you, but it's basically a P2002 code, engine management light on. So I'm using the Launch Euro Tab 3 scan tool here from launchtech.co.uk. I'm just going to exit the um, diagnostics I was doing and we'll go to the history so I can at least show you what I'm talking about here. Um, here, view the record. 60,000 miles, right? It's a 2020 car. Particle filter threshold. Basically. So, what that means is the particle filter pressure is now too low and it's not doing its job anymore. So, basically, it's not collecting particles, it's just kicking them straight out the back. There's no pressure in the DPF. So, the DPF's not working, P2002 E8 code. Um, the whole reason of me just making it, I wasn't really going to make the video, but I just thought I'd make people aware of what's going on with most of these Euro 6 cars. I literally don't know what they've done to most of these cars now, Land Rover, Range Rover, Ford, basically most of these cars, Audi, VW, anything with a Euro 6 in it. Not only have they absolutely ruined the, the, the vehicle's engine design, the DPF system design, now normally the DPF would sit sort of there where you can reach it from under the car. The DPF on this is right up, bolted to the, to the block of the engine and underneath it is a subframe. So it's very difficult to get it out. You cannot reach the DPF pressure sensor because it's behind the bulkhead. You can't reach the pressure hoses to clean it. Uh, it doesn't need cleaning anyway, but I'm just saying work-wise to access stuff is impossible almost without literally stripping apart the whole car. And again, the same story with the Land Rovers, Range Rovers. This guy has been back to Ford um, three or four different occasions and they've told him each time the, the problem is fixed, but within a short matter of days, it, the problem comes back. So, yeah, like I said, not only have they sort of ruined the engine by making them pretty much less reliable than they were before, this car has done low mileage again. I mean, you don't see this, you don't see these codes or these faults happening on a Euro 5 car. This is Euro 6, all of these Euro 6 Audi, Land Rover, Ford, um, loads of other brands as well, but uh, these are the ones I'm seeing the most often at the minute. They not only made the engine less reliable, than the Euro 5, but they've also made it almost impossible to do normal maintenance. So stuff, if they fit in stuff that needs to be worked on regularly or cleaned regularly, like your EGR valves or the DPF. Now the DPF on this, you can't even, you can't access the DPF pressure sensor. It's down in the back down there somewhere. Well, you, you can't access it within a reasonable amount of work or time. Um, not, not to make it viable to do a clean anyway on the side of the road here. Um, so yeah, I just uh, hope everyone's aware of these. So if you're gonna get a Ford with a two liter, a VW, uh, Audi with the two liter Euro 6 ultra engines, um, Land Rover with the two liter Ingenium engine, they're all the same. They all have these problems and they're all pretty much impossible to fix. This has been back a few times. EGR valves, DPS put on, all that sort of stuff. And then the problem comes back. Now this guy, uh, at least he's laughing about the problem here, but he had a Ford Fiesta. Uh, 2012 and he had that for 10 years and he's never done any sort of repair work on it apart from ordinary filter service and and it just goes to show you i don't know what they're doing with these newer cars but anyway that's just a quick rant from me okay so i'll end the video there and like i will say again each time these vehicles are having problems i'm hearing the same story from all customers they're having a, like a six to nine week wait for an appointment at the dealership so that's it i'll see you in the next video